What up? This is Rama Screen, and I'm talking with one of the stars of False Positive, Zainab Jha. How are you, Zainab? I'm fine, Rama. How are you? Good. Thank you for taking the time. So, in this film, which I very much enjoyed, you played a midwife named Grace Singleton. So, tell me, did you have to shadow an actual midwife in your preparation for the role? What was your process there? No, darling, I didn't have to shadow anyone. It was just pure acting talent. <laughs> <laughs> Your <laughs> acting talent. Actually, I could say I could cheat and say I I shadowed someone because I actually have a sister who is an OBGYN, but we never talk about it, and you know I've never shadowed her because she lives in Gambia. She's working for the World Health Organization over there, or is it Medicine Medical Research Council, one of those organizations? But um, I really just I didn't really shadow anyone, but I did read her as a very grounded, very real person first and foremost you know before she's a doctor or any of those titles we put on people I just saw her as a woman who is trying to do her job the best she can and guide you know and bring and bring comfort and relief to so many women who are struggling with fertility I really like Grace's outfit attire and Grace's interior decoration did you have any input or contribution to that or did all the credit go to the costume and production designers All the credit goes to the costume and set designers. I was just pleasantly surprised every time I put on something or the, when I saw my office, I thought, oh, this is fantastic. I mean, what, one of the fun things for me was um, there were a few of my outfits that I wore, the, unbeknownst to the production, that um, I have a friend who's a designer and some of her pieces were chosen for me and they didn't know that I knew her and I didn't know they were going to give me her pieces. And I remember just being so thrilled saying, oh my God, this is my friend who makes this. I guess she's arrived. <laughs> <laughs> Your acting background is from drama and Ilana comes from comedy. You both meet at this horror genre. It's a fascinating collision. So talk to me about working with Ilana, uh, uh, especially through your scenes together. What was that experience like for you? I enjoyed working with her just because the way we did it, Ilana did a fantastic thing, which was so generous and sweet and kind of her. She reached out to me a few weeks before we even started shooting because she just wanted us to get to know each other. So we actually went to lunch together a few times. We met, we talked on the phone. We just really established a connection and a relationship, you know, as people before we set foot on that set. So by the time we got there, we had, a, we had an understanding and a trust. More importantly, we had a trust of each other where I knew she trusted me to go as far as I needed to go and vice versa. We could really explore our, our journeys you know, and be, and, re and be grateful and be aware that the other person is open to whatever you throw at me. You know, it's like we both, it's about tennis, it's a tennis match, giving the ball in the air. And so we had a wonderful ex working relationship as a result of that. Also, it helps that we're almost the same height. So that, that was fun. <laughs> <laughs> See eye to eye. <laughs> and finally, I like your character's long monologue about men's perceptions about women's pregnancy or women's fertility. Uh, what's your take on that? Do you think men should just butt out completely or is there a middle ground to that mindset? I actually think there's a middle ground to it. Absolutely. I don't think they should butt out completely. It's just fascinating to me when we started shooting this film. I didn't, I had never thought about the fact that there's so many men in the field. You know, I just never gave it much thought until I started doing this. And I, that's when I realized and I thought, oh, well, what is, why is that? It's fascinating. And um I love the idea of having a middle ground where we can have best of both worlds, just like I believe we could have the best of a mixture of traditional Western medicine, whatever that means, and you know, conventional Western medicine and traditional medicine. We, you know, I think you can totally meld the two. My family is, is from West Africa, from Sierra Leone, West Africa, and that's certainly how it, it lives in our culture. They mix the both, both aspects together and it creates a balance. I like that. Thank you for sharing that. And um, Zainab, thank you for talking to me and congratulations. Thank you, Rama. Nice to meet you.